Hello guys, welcome back. In this video, let's explore the eraser tool. So right now I've got a, a photograph. So if you could see in the toolbox here, we have eraser tool. So to access eraser tool, you can press E on the keyboard. Uh, in eraser tool, you have eraser, background eraser and magic eraser tools. So you can press shift E to cycle between that tools here. So I'm using a normal eraser tool. Okay. So we have uh, the eraser basically, which is used to erase uh, things. But you could able to see when I'm erasing this painting, this photograph, I'm getting something white. I'll explain why. Before going into that, let's create a new layer. And I'm going to take a marquee selection and then fill that marquee selection with a, a blue color. Okay and then deselect that selection and uh, you could able to see that layer is independent i can move it as i wanted to so once that uh, layer has been created you can use eraser tool and then erase it okay so that gets erased and um, if i generally uh, lock this layer okay so i'm using this first option called lock transparent pixels and uh, here you got a uh, blue color in the foreground and white color in the background. I'll take a red color in the background here for better understanding. So you got background in the red. So I'm erasing this layer which is locked right now. And you should able to see. You should able to see that uh, when I'm erasing this uh, layer, um, the, the blue color is uh, replaced by the red color which is the background. So any layer which is logged and uh, when you paint them, the erase tool behaves in a different way. That is, it's not making that uh, layer into transparent, but it's actually filling with the background color that you should really understand. So this is the same thing which happened with our background layer here. So I, when I was erasing it, it's re uh, removing that uh, erased area with the or replacing the erased area with the background pixels so you can actually double click the background and then that background converts into a layer now when you erase it erases that pixels so that is something really important about this so eraser works like a, a normal brush which means I can use any type of brushes here okay so I'm using a leaf type brush and it's erasing in that way only. And all that uh, features what we have in the um, eraser, I mean sorry, in the brush tool will work here except this color dynamics which is basically uh, of no use in eraser. So you can convert your brush from this point and also I mean you can choose a different brush tip as I said. And then you have opacity control and flow control, which is again, when I choose a less amount of opacity, the erase happens in semi-transparent way. So if you uh, apply this stroke several times, then it makes a clean erase. So keeping less percent of uh, opacity generally can be used to get that nice fading of a blending effect with a soft brush. So flow is also very similar to that uh, what we had in the brush. So your pen pressure tools work here. Okay. And you got airbrush setting which is also there in the brush. It also works the same thing. So uh, I would generally go to the history and then come to the first level where um, I've opened the document and I'm going to clear the history. Okay. So there is no history here. The reason I'm accessing the history is we have erased to histories uh, there. Now what that actually means, uh, let's say if I go to image adjustment, sorry, image adjustments and uh, use curves and then modify the curve. Okay. Or I can go to the filter and then use the filter here. I'll use paint dobs. So this looks like Okay, so I've got this effect applied to it 
Now when I choose the eraser and enable this erase to history and then when I start erasing it you should able to see that uh, whatever we have uh, done in the um, total I mean from the start or uh, from the opening of the document till the erase tool whatever is there it's getting erased um, with this tool so it's a very nice feature um, and then you can fade off all that effects superb so everything uh, apart from the photograph uh, looks uh, paint effect and colorized color corrected except this particular area but remember one thing that uh, while you are doing using this tool uh, if you resize this image this tool doesn't work so let me go to the uh, file open and then clear history then I'm going to choose image size and then change the size to 1500 so image is resized and then I'm going to use the levels and then do color correction that's good now if I use the eraser tool the erase to history option is locked so resize doesn't happen while you erase that's the reason so technically not possible so it is very important for you to resize it and open it and then start doing the work so until you close and open it doesn't work for, for image resize feature so if you could generally see this eraser tool here in eraser tool we have a brush here so brush is basically like a normal brush and uh, then you have pencil so uh, in Photoshop you have brush tool separate and pencil tool separate so eraser pencil eraser brush would look weird so the, what they have done is they have integrated that here so eraser works like a brush or eraser works like pencil you can choose I told you that eraser basically uh, when is it's erased let me take a hardest brush and then erase uh, a certain area and then choose the pencil and then erase that area you should able to see the anti-aliasing feature is uh, different between a brush and a pencil tool so that's a major difference here between this uh, eraser feature and uh, now you have the block which is uh, basically uh, a square shape uh, brush and you can you could able to see a lot of other features are locked just you can erase it that's it you can't use do anything beyond that so uh, I, I could say this is a very rare using tool in terms of erasing things okay so even you are not able to control the size opacity of flow for this particular thing whereas pencil has got the size control and the opacity control where brush has got opacity flow all that full control over the the strokes